As Haiti's political and economic system collapses, the country continues to spiral into violence and a humanitarian crisis. Education is increasingly one of the biggest casualties as young people are forced to choose between their studies and surviving the chaos. Our Central American Caribbean correspondent Will Grant reports. It isn't easy studying law in a lawless society nor politics in a power vacuum, or economics in a collapsing economy. These students are doing all three. Though schools in gang-controlled Port-au-Prince are mostly shut, classrooms in the Karma city of Cap Haitian remain open to its young people seeking an education against the odds. The dean says everything from the law school's curriculum to its salaries have been affected by the anarchy. Whether it's the upkeep of the building or the materials, we haven't had any support from the state in covering it. We even haven't been able to pay our teachers properly or bring in any visiting professors from outside. At this time, I feel lucky to have a university place at all, says this student. All we can do is keep studying. For weeks now, the Haitian capital has resembled a war zone. As the gangs advance into new neighborhoods, the national police are struggling to repel them. An exodus of people from the city is heaping pressure on an already overstretched education system as thousands of youths fleeing the violence are looking to enroll in safer cities. If Haiti is ever to get back on its feet, it will need its best and brightest in government. Unfortunately, the political chaos here is only surpassed by the collapse in security all of which has led to a humanitarian disaster which is disproportionately affecting Haiti's young people. The officials in charge of Cap Haitian, the country's main safe haven, must now provide basic services for the city's population, its newcomers, and keep the gangs at bay. I believe in the, po in the population. And, you know, the people uh, who live in Cap Haitian have to collaborate with the municipality and then the, the police department, the justice department. That's the reason I believe the occupation will be safe. Of everything on the list of Haiti's failing infrastructure, food provision, housing, government and security, it's education that's perhaps the most tragic. It speaks of the loss of a generation, of Haiti's young people unmoored from their futures, uncertain as to what kind of country the violence will leave behind for them. Will Grant, BBC News, Cap Haitian, Haiti.